When I was little, I used to look out the window of our car as my mom drove me back from school, and I would point at all the homeless people. I imagined in my mind that when I pointed my finger at someone, I had the power to make them not be homeless anymore. That I could just point and poof, that old man had a home. That teenager had a home. That woman had a home. Caroline, stop that. It's rude to point at people. What if someone sees you? I'm not pointing. I'm giving them a home. Honey, it's not that easy. You can't just give everyone a home. Why not? It's impossible. That night, I stared out my window at the homeless man who lived across the street. I closed my eyes and pointed my finger at him. But when I opened my eyes again, he was still there. As I lay in my warm, cozy bed, in my soft flannel pajamas, in my safe, familiar home, I couldn't stop wondering, why couldn't everyone have what I have? Why was it impossible? Hey, honey. Is everything okay? Yeah. Just, I think Caroline cried herself to sleep tonight. What? What happened? I don't know. She thinks she can give all the homeless people homes by pointing at them or something. You can't just give everybody a home. I told her to stop, and I think it really upset her. She's five. She'll grow out of it. Yeah. Hey, will you grab the trash before you come up to bed? Sure, honey. Thanks. Hey, you doing okay out here? Uh, do you have any family you can call or anywhere you can go? Do you mind if I sit? What you need? I asked my mother at breakfast if she knew what happened to the man across the street. She said my father looked up an organization online, made a quick call, and some people showed up to help. She said he wouldn't be homeless anymore because of me, because I dreamed for a better world. I said, I thought it was impossible to give everyone a home. She smiled and shook her head. Maybe not. If you care, it's not impossible. <laughs>